First thing we're going to do here is remove the five screws uh, holding the body on. Okay, now that we have the, have the housing off, um, the housing is in pretty bad shape. There's lots of pitting and scoring on this uh, rear wall here. Also, we noticed that these two pieces right here of the body itself are broken internally. You can see the two there. Those two are broken. And the impeller itself most definitely is in bad shape. All of the veins are missing. Uh, nowhere to be found uh, right here. Uh, okay, now we're going to do a quick comparison between the damaged old uh, pieces versus the new. Uh, this is a little bit of a better view of the housing. As you can see there, the two pieces there, the two that are broken, you can see all the scoring inside the inside the housing itself. That's the old. This is the new. And then of course the impeller itself. All of the veins are missing off of this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the boat and we're going to look for all of the missing pieces. Uh, hopefully we'll find all of those inside the cooling system uh, in the hoses and uh, in the uh, oil coolers and, and whatnot. Hopefully they uh, got caught in there before it got to the engine. Okay, we're now back inside the boat and we are down here. We've located the outlet hose of the seawater pump which is this lower hose and we have traced it down it goes down underneath the engine and goes back and then comes immediately makes kind of a u-turn comes back up to this oil cooler which is for the power steering pump and then comes right up into another oil cooler which is the engine oil cooler and then bends back over to the thermostat housing so we're anticipating finding most of our impeller pieces and debris uh, stuck uh, in this in this initial hose coming out of the seawater pump and possibly hung up in this first cooler um, but we'll inspect uh, basically everything up to the thermostat housing okay we're now going to remove the uh, hose uh, that's coming out of the inlet side of the seawater pump over to the first oil cooler. Okay, now we're going to drain the contents of the hose that we removed. We're going to drain it into this to this jug as you can see we've already got quite a few of the missing impeller pieces off of the damaged impeller in our seawater pump Now we're going to remove the hose going from the first cooler up to the second cooler. Okay, we're going to take a closer look at these coolers with the help of a flashlight. As you can see this first cooler is kind of a hollow style cooler and right at the very bottom we can see a piece of impeller right down there and on this 
the second cooler take a look at it as you can see we've got it's jam-packed full of impeller vanes Okay, we went ahead and with the use of some needle nose and our finger uh, right in the end of the uh, cooler there, we removed all of the debris. Kind of surprising how much was uh, stuck up in there, but we've added it to our collection here in this uh, jug. So now we're going to move on to the top of the cooler and we're going to remove the hose. and we're going to go ahead and inspect uh, down inside the tube here and make sure we can see all the way through the bottom and all the, the little orifices there and we're also going to inspect the inside of the thermostat housing we inspected the inlet side of the thermostat here where the water comes in and it is free of debris with the help of a flashlight at the top of the cooler uh, we did find a couple of pieces um, that were stuck inside one of the or a couple of the individual tubes um, but we now have all of the tubes clean and clear okay we're back now at the shop bench and we've emptied the contents of our jug onto the table here and we were somewhat able to piece together all the individual veins um, and pieces that were originally broke off of the uh, the impeller here and we feel comfortable at this point that we've got all of the debris out of the cooling system so at this point uh, we will be going back together with a new impeller and a new one piece body all right this is the water pump body impeller kit that we ordered from perfprotect.com and inside we have the new impeller the one piece body with the o-ring new wear plate and new hardware